Hello ladies and gentlemen, Luke Rethke here. Uh, it's been a while since I've checked in. I just thought I'd uh, let you know how things were going and, and show you what I've been up to. So uh, it's kind of been a long, a long haul getting a new career going and getting something so I can put some food on the table instead of just struggling, basically. Uh, it, which is, it seems like it's getting more and more common these days. But, uh, but anyways, uh, something that's been working out real good for me lately is I, is I put, uh, started putting some foam board, rigid foam insulation. So you can see right here is, it was just this fiberglass and then tin, just a camper. Uh, and I tell you what, it's getting to be really easy to heat now. It's getting to be uh, probably as warm, if not warmer, than a house. Uh, I got well, I broke the mirror there. So what? I, and what I've been doing for career-wise, I've been I started basically uh, working for the man again, which doesn't necessarily feel all that good, but putting in. Uh, satellite TVs for people putting in their uh, hooking up their TVs so uh, I mean I just don't even hardly know how to get into some of these current events I don't I haven't been watching and paying quite as close attention lately as uh, in the past but it's just the economy gets tighter and tighter and tighter and more and more regulation and it just keeps getting ridiculous I mean I, I've been learning about these earth ship type homes these solar solar homes and different ways of growing food right inside your home or right around your home and a lot of the stuff is illegal and makes like harvesting rainwater is technically not really really legal some of the areas that they're doing that type of stuff it seems like and you know, if the government would just get the heck out of the way, life would be so much easier. So, uh, it's 2014, it's time to to get an honest system in place and get, you know, learn how to grow food and learn where food comes from. I mean, you know, right here, it comes from the ground. Everything pretty much comes from the dirt. And a lot of people really don't even know that they think food comes from the grocery store. So what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, basically leave that in the comments and let me know because I'm pretty much open to whatever. Uh, I've been been paying attention as much as I can. Uh, watched a lot of this this guy. I'll link to his channel. His name's Stefan Molyneux. He's got a lot of a lot of things, kind of logical type things, philosophical. He calls himself a philosopher. I guess I could. I don't know, didn't even really know the definition of the word, but I could maybe say that's, I'm into a lot of that type of stuff, more science and philosophy and just logic and just how things are and, and you know, don't basically uh, let your feelings dictate reality, uh, let facts dictate your reality and life just changes, you won't... Uh, basically be trapped in the trapped in the matrix trapped in the illusion of false reality basically brainwashed like probably still at least 90% of the masses are in some way shape or form one way or another uh, but anyway yeah I, I you might notice I, I uh, removed the advertising on my channel and have my reasons for that. I don't really care for the YouTube company, basically, and the way they do things, the way they've set things up for more and more like a pyramid structure. And if you're not at the top of the pyramid, you're not going to really make it. And I was, I had reasons for I trying to do it that way. And back maybe a year ago or so, or a little longer, when I was making a lot of videos, I was trying to get, you know, a few a week, basically and, and kind of met that goal for a little while, and there was really no way that I could get more than an X amount of income 
from YouTube and they kept changing their algorithms and traffic got lower and then actually one video I worked hard to get traffic up on like kind of a viral video and somehow the traffic was getting to be more but the revenue was getting <laughs> less and less so they were screwing me somehow and I never could get an answer but uh anyway yeah oh that was the one thing I was gonna gonna tell you about I've been taking that tangy tangerine for about a year now and I tell you what I've gone on on it and off of it for a little while you know like for whatever reason I'd run out for a few days or something like that because I didn't order in time and I can't go without it I mean it's it's great stuff it's multivitamin multi-mineral and there's pretty much supposed to be about everything you need in there I mean there's not protein in there so obviously there's not everything but it's all the basic vitamins and minerals and different cofactors and there's even like probiotics and things like that in there now and also Uh, what is this? Nascent iodine. Started taking that. Feeling a lot better. Can't believe some of the, you know, long days at work and and long weeks and, you know, getting just some of this ridiculous stuff <laughs> that I've had to put up with getting things going. Uh, you know, just jumping through all kinds of hoops because it's an independent contractor thing. So I've had to supply a lot of, you know, I've had to feed myself and then put myself through it's kind of a school thing. Well, I tested out. I didn't actually have to go to a classroom. I did it on my own and then I took the test and I was able to pass the test the first time, thankfully. So I didn't actually have to pay a bunch more money and then spend six weeks driving every day to a classroom. But, uh... I uh, got certified for that satellite installer deal and ha had to get my own tools and work van and all this stuff so it's been it's been a lot it's been pretty fulfilling I'm, it's finally starting to pay off and I'm finally uh, you know having a little bit of a clear head to think so I can make a video actually uh, a lot of times it just doesn't seem like it it's even worth it to pick up the camera because I'm too stressed out when I do get a chance to sit down but uh you know let's change that Let, you know it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that tough it shouldn't be where people have to make a choice between taking a handout or working for a living because you know I know I understand you can't work for ten dollars an hour really and support yourself it's just getting tougher and tougher there's there's both sides of it I mean people say people on welfare are lazy but then on the other hand you can't really make it another way unless you're you have some sort of special skill or some like they basically keep taking the bottom rungs of the ladder uh, off you know just demolishing them so anyway I don't know if any of you are still listening it kinda got to be a long rambling video about who knows what but I just thought I would uh, uh, show you this and give you my testimonial on this spray foam insulation I mean there's nothing like it in the world uh, I had oh I'll tell you that I had my roof done with actual spray foam uh, about a year year and a half ago or something and it's holding up pretty good it's got probably four inches in the middle and, and I mean it's it's made this camper completely transformed I mean I don't even really need to use my my little wood stove anymore I, I installed that a little bit better and and uh, you know sealing up all the air leaks I learned that from a second generation professional spray foam installer uh, and you just seal, basically seal up the air leaks seal up all those little cracks everywhere and that's the way to do it. I mean, there's some ins install ins insulation installers who say that you can't get it too tight because it'll, you know, you won't get ventilation that way. Well, I say get it as tight as possible and vent on the convenient days as far as weather goes. Uh, you know, open the window and what whatnot. But 
Seems to be working good. There's, I'm gonna experiment with like a greenhouse type little thing on the front and do a little bit more with that and get more and more heating, more and more off the grid. Uh, oh, let me show you this over here quick. In the midst of my mess and my construction project. Before, I couldn't heat the place at night. With that alone, I'd have to use the wood stove a little bit. And now, that thing will heat it all day, all night. It got really cold a few of those nights. It was even during the cold snap here a little while ago. Uh, I did use the wood stove, but it it was real comfortable in there. I mean, it feels, feels as comfortable as a house. And it's got... Oh, you little son of a bitch. It's got single paint. He just attacked me. Get him, Tosh. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen around here when you don't pay attention. <laughs> but, uh... Hey, get back. Chicken. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Chicken. I'm making a video. <laughs> Get out of here! This stupid chicken. So I was gonna show you this here, the skirting, if I can. <laughs> oh crap! Now he's gonna start this. Get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, get going. <laughs> I replaced this front skirting with plastic so it gets sunlight in there. It gets real warm in there. And there's no real lot of spray foam on the, on the uh, underside. And yeah, it's 80 degrees in here. So that definitely helps, and it gets and it gets warm all the way underneath to the back. And I mean, there's a little bit of spray from where it wasn't insulated in the front, but other than that, it's just pretty much you know stock insulation. And I can't believe it. It's how cold it gets, you know, 20 degrees at night, and and I wake up and I don't even have to don't even have to worry about it. Just have the fan going on that little heater and it stays pretty much whatever I set it at. And there you go. So, so <laughs> I'd be kind of surprised if anybody's still watching at this point. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what you want, what you want to talk about. And, and uh, you know, I've mentioned a lot of things on here already, like the Federal Reserve Bank and just how illegal pretty much everything is. So, I just kind of wanted to more check in and and uh, show the inside of my camper and stuff and stuff like that. It's been kind of crazy. So, but that's still pretty much the theme of this channel is just truth. I mean, look into those earth ships. I can't believe how simple it would be to live completely self-sustainably off the grid grow our, our own food right there in our house and not have to worry about it and be dependent on a bunch of control freaks who want to rule over us domesticate us like dogs basically so that they don't have to work but anyway take it easy everybody I uh, hope to check back in more more and more often and and get this channel more in uh like a regular thing here so try to get some maybe just have a way to mount the camera in my vehicle and make some on the way to work or something so anyways have a good one everybody thanks